Welcome to the presentation on dividing fractions. Let's get started. So before I give you the intuition, I'd actually I might do that in a, in a different module, I'm just going to show you the mechanics of how you divide a fraction. And, and it turns out that it's actually not much more difficult than multiplying fractions. If I were to ask you 1 half divided by 1 half, whenever you divide by a fraction, or actually when you divide by any number, it's the same thing as multiplying by its inverse. So 1 half divided by 1 half is equal to 1 half times 2 over 1. We just inverted inverse the second 1 half. And we know from the multiplication module, 1 half times 2 over 1, well, that's just equal to 2 over 2, or it's equal to 1. And that makes sense, because actually any number divided by itself is equal to 1. 1 half divided by 1 half is 1, just like 5 divided by 5 is 1, just like 100 divided by 100 is 1. And this, this isn't a new principle. Actually, you, you are always doing it. Think about it this way. What is 2 uh, divided by 2? Well, you know that's 1. But isn't this also the same thing as 2 times the inverse of 2, which is 1? I'll show it to you. I, actually, let me, let me give you a couple more examples to show that this dividing fractions really isn't a new concept, this, this whole notion of multiplying by the inverse. Um, if I were to tell you what is 12 divided by 4, well, we know the answer to this, but I'm going to show you that this is the same thing as 12 times 1 fourth. 12 over 1 times 1 over 4 is 12 over 4, which is 3. And 12 over 4 is really just another way of writing 12 divided by 4. So it's kind of a long way of, of getting to the same point. But I just wanted to show you that what we're, what we're doing in this module is, is nothing new than what we've always been doing when we divide by a number. Division is, is the same thing. Dividing by a number is the same thing as multiplying by the inverse of that number. And just as a review, an inverse, if I have a number a, the inverse, inverse, in short for inverse, is 1 over a. So um, the inverse of 2 thirds is 3 halves. Or the inverse of 5, because 5 is the same thing as 5 over 1, so the inverse is 1 over 5. We're just sw flipping it. We're, we're switching the numerator and denominator. So let's do some fraction division problems. What is 2 thirds divided by 5 over 6? Well, we know that this is the same thing as 2 thirds times 6 over 5. And that's equal to 12 over 15. And we could divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. That's 4 over 5. What is 7 over 8 divided by 1 fourth? Well, that's the same thing as 7 over 8 times 4 over 1. Remember, I just flipped this 1 fourth. Divide by 1 fourth is the same thing as multiplying by 4 over 1. That's all you got to do. And then we could use a little shortcut we learned in the multiplication model module. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So that equals 7 over 2. Or if you wanted to write that as a mixed number, this is, of course, an improper fraction. Improper fractions have a numerator larger than a denominator. If you wanted to write that as a mixed number, 2 goes into 7 three times with a remainder of 1. So that's 3 and a half. You can write either way. I tend to keep it this way because it's easier to deal with. Let's do a ton of more problems, or at least as many more as we can do in the next four or five minutes. Um, what's negative 2 thirds divided by uh, 5 halves? Once again, it, that's the same thing as minus 2 thirds, uh, whoops, as minus 2 over 3 times what? It's times the inverse of 5 over 2, which is 2 over 5. And that equals minus 4 over 15. What is 3 halves divided by 1 sixth? Well, that's just the same thing as 3 halves times 6 over 1, 
which equals let's see, it's, it's three and a one. We just divided the six by two and the two by two, so that equals nine. I think you might be getting it now. Let's see. Let's do a couple more. And now, of course, you can always pause and and look at the this whole presentation again, so you can get confused all over again. Let's see. Let's do minus five over seven divided by ten over three. Well, this is the same thing as minus five over seven times three over ten. I just multiplied by the inverse. That's all I keep doing over and over again. Minus five times three, minus fifteen. Seven times ten is seventy. If we divide the numerator and the denominator by five, we get minus three over fourteen. We could have also just done it here. We could have done 5, 2, and we've gotten minus 3 over 14 as well. Let's do one or two more problems. I think you kind of get it, though. Um, let's say 1 half divided by minus 3. Aha! So what happens when you take a fraction and you divide it by a whole number or an integer? Well, we know any whole number can be written as a fraction. This is the same thing as 1 half divided by minus 3 over 1. And dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its numerator, its inverse. So the inverse of three, negative 3 over 1 is negative 1 over 3. And this equals negative 1 sixth. Let's do it the other way. What if I had negative 3 divided by 1 half? Same thing. Negative 3 is the same thing as minus minus 3, minus 3 over 1 divided by 1 half, which is the same thing as minus 3 over 1 times 2 over 1, which is equal to minus 6 over 1, which equals minus 6. Now let me give you a little bit of intuition of, of why this works. Let's say I said 2 divided by 1 third. Well, we know that this is equal to 2 over 1 times 3 over 1, which equals 6. So how does 2, 1 thirds, and 6 relate? Well, let's look at it this way. If I had two pieces of pizza, I have two pieces of pizza. Here's my two pieces of pizza, right? Two right here. So I have two pieces of pizza. And I'm going to divide them into thirds. So I'm going to divide each pizza into a third. I'll draw a little Mercedes sign. So I'm, I'm dividing each pizza into a third, right? How many pieces do I have? Well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six pizzas. So you might want to sit and, and ponder that for a little bit, but I, I think it, it might make a little bit of, a, of sense to you. I always do one more just to, just to tire your brain. If I had negative 7 over 2 divided by four ninths. Let's make it negative four ninths. Well that's the same thing as minus seven over two times minus nine over four, right? I just multiplied by the inverse of negative four ninths. Nine times seven is equal to negative seven times negative nine is positive sixty three. And two times four is eight. Hopefully um, I think you have a good idea of how to divide by a fraction now. And you can you can try out um, the the dividing fractions modules. Uh, have fun.